Hey, welcome back to our devotional time this morning. We're reading from Lamentations chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. Straight to it. The tongue of the infant clings to the roof of its mouth for thirst. The young children ask for bread, but no one breaks it for them. Those who ate delicacies are desolate in the streets. Those who were brought up in scarlet embrace ash heaps. The punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom, which was overthrown in a moment with no hand to help her. Here's a picture of desolation, of destruction and and uh, reduction into just, just gross poverty. Here's a people who they the, everything has been smashed. Here's a people who, instead of turning to God, they were invested in their material prosperity. And they just wanted to keep the economy going, keep everything going, keep trade going, uh, and, and keep their wealth for themselves. And they thought they could resist Babylon when God himself had told them, you need to submit to Babylon in this case. I'll be with you. You'll be able to continue your worship. But God was trying to bring them, I think, back from their selfishness. And they were like, nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> And so God allowed this enormous devastation to come to them. And here's the picture of this devastation of people who have trusted in material wealth and then had basically all their material wealth re removed from them. And so it's a picture of desolation. And, and we need to be careful about trusting in the material things. Oh, it's so convenient today. Your house has, has heat. You press a button, you've got heat. You press a button, you've got air conditioning. Everything is so convenient for you. You've got a microwave oven. You've got a cell phone. You can take it anywhere, talk to anybody, anytime. All these wonderful conveniences, and yet it could all be taken away from you pretty quickly by disasters, either natural ones or human-made disasters. A lot of that's probably going to go away. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for these things to be removed from you? Are we in the same case that these people were? Trusting, and then now we see them after they've lost everything. And what do they have left? Well, God still wants them, and God still wants us. And after all of our material wealth is removed, if we have Jesus, we'll still be richer than any other uh, situation we could be in. Having Jesus makes us richer than the richest people on this planet, many of whom do not, I think, by their own profession, do not have Jesus. Material wealth is fleeting. We need to not trust in it. To whom much is given, much is required. And to you and I, much has been given. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be good stewards of the wealth you have given to us, the conveniences you have given to us. May we not lose our way spiritually because of these conveniences. Help us, Lord, to not have our values be so skewed that you would have to allow us to undergo an experience like the kingdom of Judah underwent when they refused to turn their hearts to you. Help us, Lord, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you today in all that you do. And let's be people of the book, and that'll make us people that this planet needs, people of hope, encouragement, and help.